This is Seven Chair here, NASM CPT. I am on my back today, as promised in last week's video, as I was giving a overview of the baseline exercises this week. We are starting off in supine, baseline position number one, and we are simply on our backs with our eyes to the sky, but my eyes are here in the camera talking to you guys. So, the reason why I want to start off on my back is the primary root cause of some of our movement issues all start on the ground, and all movement starts from the ground up. And being on our backs gives us a optimal opportunity to um, really start without having to bear any weight on our limbs and whatnot. And one of the things that I want to go over is simply um, learning to breathe and use our diaphragms. As you can see, my diaphragm is pretty high, so um, we're going to work on diaphragmatic breathing, which will uh, help settle down our joints and get us prepared for a workout. And it'll also strengthen our core. Our core is so integral and so important. And bringing our diaphragm down is so important because um, our core is the connection between the strength and the mobility in our lower and upper bodies. So if we have a weak core, then we won't be able to perform these movements where we reach up with our hands or we pick up with our legs, and we will get to doing movements like that at a later date. But for right now, we are going to mainly focus on diaphragmatic breathing. Remember, if we can't, we can't get our core engaged and our core strong, we cannot move how we want to move. I can't bring my right leg up. I can't bring my left hand up without having a strong, stable, sturdy core. So what you want to do in the beginning is if you don't know anything about diaphragmatic breathing or whatever, um, one thing that you want to do is the importance and the use and the power of your tongue. You typically now roll over for a second. You typically want your tongue at the roof of your mouth. Your tongue rests at the roof of your mouth so that you can breathe in, breathe in air smoothly, and then you're gonna take a deep breath out, and that decompresses the central nervous system, settles your body down. Get your body in a relaxed state and uh, gets you out of that fight or flight reflex. So we're going to turn back over and I'm going to show you how to breathe. And we're going to breathe. We take our hands. And we're going to put them at the base of our rib cage. Our pinkies, our pinkies, our middle pinkies should be touching when we, when we take a deep breath. And here we go. We put our tongue at the roof of our mouth. See? And we breathe. Deep inhale. Gentle exhale. And as you feel our inhale, you should see how my stomach or um, diaphragm muscles Expand as I inhale 
and then release as I exhale. And believe it or not, as I inhale and exhale and bring breath into my diaphragm, filling it up with air, and then exhale, you should feel how much better my central nervous system settles down uh, after I uh, continue to finish breathing. And this is going to be the basis or the starting point I um, am an advocate for diaphragmatic breathing because it settles down my central nervous system and it really gets my body back to a uh, level of comfortability before I work out and even after I work out. So I use diaphragmatic breathing at the beginning of my workouts and the end of my workouts just to settle just to get myself settled down and you can also do this um, you can also do this movement on the back like how we're doing today and you can even do it um, you can even do it on your stomach and sitting in a chair it doesn't have to be particularly all the way on the ground but we're having fun today and this is just my um, video on diaphragmatic breathing and again all you have to do is you have to lay on your back um try to rotate your knees in and go in out in out and again out in out well that was diaphragmatic breathing i'm tevin cherry i'll be back with another video see ya